Hey, how's everybody doing? Finally got out to the RV and the bed is made and the towels are changed and put the slide out, started it up, make sure it still starts. Of course it still starts. So that's where we're at. Everything seems to be good out here. And if it wasn't, I don't know if I'd say anything right away. So. I decided to go shopping. Not my favorite store. I went to Ollie's. Down in Pasco County. God, I was so excited. That's like going to Walmart. And I went, I needed some, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. there goes that brain. Oh, I wanted some uh, puzzle books, word search books when I decide to sit down late at night and have my coffee where it doesn't get cold on me all the time. And I wanted some more uh, bungee cord strap kind of things. We, they have some great ones and the price you can't beat. And um, I found the other day I needed one or two, so I decided, okay, I got this. I'll go to Ollie's. Asked my grandson if he wanted to go. You know, spend time with grandma. Well, he went. He went. And I know better. I flipping know better. Put my coffee over here. Because here's, here's what I say every time I ask him. Can you read my cup? Is it backwards? Is it? Is it? My cup says, this is what my cup says. What? And I can't stress this enough, the fuck. And that's what kind of day I had. I knew better than to ask him, but you know, you never know. You think you're going to get lucky and, you know, your grandson who, oh God, boys go through so many metamorphoses. It's just. So we go down and we go in the store and immediately I'm not even in the door that he's trying to rush me. And I'm like, well, John, I need to go over here and look at the puzzle books. And while I was looking at him, you know, my coffee kicked in. I said, I got to go pee. I'll be back. Watch my purse. So I did. I come back and oh my God, you know, it was like the worst thing in the world. And I said, well, let's just walk around. You know, I said, you know how I am when I go to the store and we walked around. And after he put a candle in my cart that he wanted, he wanted to go out and sit in the car. So I give him my keys, you know, good grandma, give him my keys. And I tell him, go out and relax, turn the air on. You know, I'll be out in a bit now. You're going to the car. I'm in no hurry. Came in looking for me a couple of times and. You know, I, I, there's some things I got for the RV. There's some bins I got for inside the fridge, you know, to help keep things stable when you're moving. And, you know, he knows how I am when I go shopping. And I told him that. I said, John, you know how I am. I would need to get a presidential award if I ever walked out of the store with just what I had on my list to go in and get. I would. I would deserve that. So anyhow, here he comes again. And I said, okay, John, I'm going around this last aisle just to make sure that I'm not forgetting something and I'm heading for the checkout. And that's what I did. And he saw what I had in my cart. Next fucking thing I know, he's gone. So I bought, you know, one of them big plastic bags, Ollie bags, you know, rather than take a bunch of little ones and she said, you're going to be okay with this because you can't take their shopping carts out, you know, because I got the big pole. I know how to do it, though, when nobody's looking. I just tilt that thing backwards and out the door I go. But, you know, um, they were all right there, and the manager was there, and I don't want to cost no shit. So I told her, I said, put as much of that stuff in that bag as you can, and the rest I'll figure out. And she said, didn't I see somebody here? I said, yeah, that's my grandson. I said, but you know how it goes. I said, when you need help, they disappear. And I forgot all about that candle that little fuck put in my cart. I ended up paying for his candle. The girl at the register was like, can I? I said, no, no, I got this. I got this. And I picked up another little, the little short broom and dust pan, you know, probably three and a half foot tall, whatever, you know. I like those. And you don't see them very often. So I got that. So I had that. 
a smaller bag that had his candle and I wish I had known I'd just drop that fucker and let it break. And this big humongous bag. And this is me. I don't help me. I'll do this. You know, he should have been in there helping me. So I go out there and he sees me coming. Doesn't run to help me now, mind you. I'm struggling. This shit is it's more bulky than it was heavy. You know how you try to walk and the shit gets between your knees and you Yeah. So he shuts off my car, though, and gets out with the keys and opens up the trunk for me to put all that in. However, he was in a hurry to get back because he likes to... He was talking to his girlfriend, you know, this shit the whole time. And, and uh, they were talking the, ooh, ooh, you know, kind of talk. And so I just leave him alone. And he couldn't wait to get back here, though, to get on FaceTime and take his shirt off and show his tan to her. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So that's when I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to go out and work on the RV to get it done. So I did. I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. So now I just got to wait for the hubby to get home. So we're going to run the home assassin to the market and drop some shit off so I don't got to cart it all in the morning. And then uh, I guess we're going to go out to eat. Because I gave him his option. I said, either we grab a bite while we're out or you eat leftovers. Oh, he opted for the eating. I don't know why, though. He's good about eating leftovers. That's okay. He'll get them for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Not throwing anything away again. And <clears throat> what he doesn't get for lunch the next day or two goes in the freezer and gets it for lunch another day. Yes, indeedy. So, anyhow, my trip out today, it wasn't bad, but the traffic, I'm like, you know, everybody that comes down for the winter and most of the spring, well, spring break is over, and yeah, there's more traffic now. And I was like, what? And everybody, of course, everybody was in a hurry. And again, you know, they're getting mad at people that are behind slow, people that can't move left, right. We can't move. That's okay. If you want to be dickheads, I can be dickheads. I don't really care. So I'm not going there with anybody like that again. The rest of my night's going to be nice and peaceful and quiet. Hopefully. And tomorrow I'll get up, go to the market early. Saturdays are my day. My day. I go there by myself. Chris is at work. John's doing whatever John's doing. I don't know. So, yeah. So I guess the RV is not getting washed until Monday or Tuesday now. But I'm good with that. It'll get done. I know it'll get done because I'll do it. So we don't have to worry about that at all. But yeah, other than being on John's shit list again, <clears throat> everything's been good today. It's been really good. I went through my mail from the last probably six months and got rid of all, most all that it's, it's shit, you know, a lot of advertisements, magazines, but I kept the things that looked important, like my cat's tags, you know, that were there and um, pretty much it. It's been a long day for me, you know, because I'm usually, my feet hit that floor and I don't stop. Today's just been kind of a I'll get to it when I get to it. Kind of day. It feels pretty good, actually. So we'll see how it goes. So anyhow, I don't know what I'm going to do between now and the time the hubby gets on. Uh, I don't know. I'm listening to some another true crime on out here in the RV. That's what I watch in the house. No, I watch YouTube. Maybe this is on YouTube. I don't know. A woman. 
shot her husband. Apparently he was a chef, a teaching chef or something. She went to the school and shot him dead. At least that's what they're saying. I don't know. I wasn't there. So I can't say that she did it or that's what she did, but that's what they're saying she did. So I knew there would be another one that I hadn't heard of um, after the Alec Murdoch one. So I'll have every TV in the house on with it. So that way when I'm hopping around like goddamn squirrel on crack, I can keep up with it. I passed up watching the thing on the news on DeSantis and Disney. I really don't want to say a whole lot about it until we see what happens because I don't want people pissed off at me for giving my opinion because that seems to happen a lot. Yeah, go figure. But you know what? Here's the thing about that. I own it. If it came out of my mouth, my big mouth, I own it. But for some reason, again, here we go with the old thing. I'm old. I'm not supposed to have opinions. I'm not supposed to think. I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm supposed to let everybody lead me around and tell me what to do and what's good for me and what's not good for me. But I still own this mouth. It's mine. I still, I'm still sharp up here, you know. I have those slow moments, but. Sometimes I think they're on purpose, but I get it. But I still own my mouth. And here's the thing with the mouth. Um, it is who I am, and I will say this a million times. I don't know how to be any other way. So therefore, if I try to be any other way, I'm not being me. This I've been this I bet was a mouthy little snot growing up. <clears throat> not you know disrespectful to my parents or anything. I, I mm -mm. you know, but other kids or whatever, I'd tell them the wherefores and how tos and go fuck yourself. I didn't care. And I've always been that way. I, you know, I, so anyhow, that's who I am. And hopefully that's why y'all stop by and because you don't have a problem with it. Not because you like the way I talk, but because you don't have the pro a problem with it and you get it. You get it. This is honesty. This is real life. If anybody else wants to walk around and let you think that they don't say a cuss word, maybe not often, you know, like your church people and things like that. But I'll tell you what they do because I've heard them. And some of them old men with the church are some of the dirtiest fucks you ever met in your life. So, but I am who I am. I'm not going to go to church. I'm not going to go to church. But if I did, I wouldn't be in church, you know, woo -woo, with my, you know, lace socks and my whatever and come home and strip it off and, and start cussing like a sailor. Uh, that's not me. I'll wake up and cuss like a sailor because that's who I am. Bottom line. And I'm not going to tell you a lie. I ain't got time for that. That's why I think people think I do have a mouth. But you know what? I think that's why they think I have a mouth too. Because it just comes out how it is. I'm not going to sit there and think about what I'm going to say. And sugarcoat the words. And you know, oh I can't put it that I need to put. That ain't me. This mouth opens, it comes out. It comes out sometimes before it even hits my head. It's always been that way. So, you know, it can't be blamed on getting older. Oh, and while I was out, I think I talked two women into doing the hair purple. They fell in love with my hair, and I'm like, you can do this. <coughs> and then one lady's like, but I'm 80 years old. And I'm like, I just turned 66. Oh, but I'm 80. I said, oh, so? I said, so? You want to color your hair purple? Well, my husband, I said, no, no. Do you want to color your hair purple? If that's what you want to do, do it. If it makes you happy, do it. So 
So she smiled on her way out the door. She says, ah, I think I'll do it, you know. Why not? It's not like it's neon orange or neon green, but you know what? One of these days I get mad enough at my husband, I'll do that and then make him take me out in public like that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I gotta redo my hair. I keep saying that. And it'll get done. Probably this next week. Now that I've caught up on everything since being back from being on vacation, um, I have more free time to dedicate to me because that's what I'm going to do. Dedicate it to me. Lord, oh Lord. Tomorrow I was thinking going to the market. I'm going to be between my two friends. One's a very good friend and the other one's a friend and I, I just don't want to be in the middle. Mm-mm. Because you know what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. This big mouth. <clears throat> Somebody's going to say something that's going to strike me wrong. And this mouth is going to open. We know all where that's going to go, don't we? So that's why I'm trying to stay out of it. I don't want to lose the one as a friend. And I don't want to hurt the other one's feelings. But I don't watch what I say. I try to keep the mouth shut. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if it opens. What time is it? Ah, the hubby should be here in about 40 minutes. I'm not used to having this free time on my hands. But the only reason I didn't jump into another chore after this one is because I knew he was coming home and I knew we were going to leave right away. So, I'm trying to be that good little patient wife. It's not going to work. I got laundry, I guess. So maybe I'll go do that. Anyhow, y'all. I just wanted to hop in and tell you, you know, my poor grandson, I aggravated the fuck out of him again, but it was his choice to go with me. I don't get it. He knows I'm a shopper. I don't always buy a lot, but I like to see what's out there. And if, you know, you never know. Something new, I might have to have it. But I'm trying to cut that back, too, if we're going to sell the house. Because I, I got so much shit. I got so much. If we took just, like, my kitchen stuff and my personal stuff and my work stuff, all of it. I'd have to have my own small house just to put my stuff in. So I've got to start giving it up. I don't have a problem with that. It's just stuff. You know, it's just stuff. I'll see what my youngest daughter wants out of the stuff first. Um, because my older daughter just buys what she wants when she wants it. So, And uh, Chris says, heavy yard sale. I've never done that. I don't know what price to put on my stuff, you know. I usually just give it away because of that. I've given away so much stuff. Uh, because, I don't know. How do you put price on your stuff? So, I don't know. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm going to shut my big mouth. I'm going to turn off my camera. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I might be back later. I don't know. I think of something to say um but that's it anyhow have a wonderful evening enjoy your families y'all keep moving keep that blood flowing you know what i mean you know fingers toes you start with them it'll work it really will i promise you that i do i did it i did it 319 pounds of nothingness laying there having to be taken care of and i said oh no 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 i'm done with this and here i am 13 years later so y'all can do it hang in there with me we'll do it together i just want you to know you're important you're important enough to do it 
You are. Trust. Trust. All right, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Love y'all. And uh, I'll be back. See ya.